I'm here in the January balance tracker and as you'll notice this very first row says checking all of the totals that come from the Big Easy system will show up on this first row. The second row has cash on hand. You can start with the amount of money you have on hand and the system will track the amount of cash sales that you have come in or cash expenditures. And as for savings, you can list all of your savings and other bank accounts in this area and input your balances for those accounts in this area and the system will add up and keep track of your interest on savings, your gains on investments, and if I scroll down you'll see you'll see there's a place to keep track of PayPal and other shopping cart balances here. You have other assets you may track. You can keep track of your sales tax that you owe to the state. Your credit card balances can go in this column. Any loans you owe would go in this column and any other liabilities would go here. The way this works is I've scrolled up here. The way this works is any of the green cells are totals automatically transferred from the Big Easy system. The light blue cells are actually totals that are calculated right here on the account balance tracker. Now I'll give you an example of how the cash on hand will be affected. Let's go over to the deposits and enter in a sale here to Bob James and you had sold widgets to him okay eight hundred dollars worth you had collected forty eight dollars in tax but this is a cash payment so I will record it as cash by scrolling over to the right and placing a C here. Now if I go back to the account balance tracker you'll see there's eight hundred and forty eight dollars that was added to your starting balance of a hundred you now have nine hundred and forty eight dollars. Now I'll show you where you would record cash expenditures by clicking on cash and charges we will put in an expense here. Let's say you went, um, let's say you paid cash for some car or truck expenses, and you can record the expense here for $75. And let's say that was a cash item. And now I will head back over to the account balance tracker and you'll see $75 came out of your cash account and now you have $873 in cash. The account balance tracker is a new feature for 2012 and it can help you to keep track of all of your accounts in one place. And that's it.